Hello guys, it's been a while. I'm here with Be Crazy. Hello. And we are coaches of the Belgian Red Dragapults. And <laughs> we what this means is that we are doing a draft league. Yay! You know, I just realized the BRD looks like beer old, so it just seems like it's bro <laughs> standing there. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like... Yeah, with the bros. <laughs> <laughs> with the bros. <laughs> God. It does uh, though. <laughs> yeah, now it does for me. Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we decided like, to do a draft league. I wanted to do a draft league. Um, it's on showdown, but uh, I wanted to have a fun co coach and I wanted to record some videos because it's been a while. So I got be crazy with me because he's entertaining, fun, and he knows Pokemon better than me. <laughs> Hey, that's hey. me. Hey. <laughs> I uh, also forced myself upon his team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's also a factor you should count in. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like, uh, I don't really got a lot of steel. Like, honestly, uh, I'm, I had the logo made by someone. I forgot his name. I'm going to put it up on the screen, probably editing later. But uh, we wanted to draft a broken team. So the first thing that we of course thought of like what is a broken Pokemon in like Draft League and or in yeah, OU in it's just or, in in, or, in, or in BGC you or, know, or in, in TCG in, yeah. in the trading card game and we yeah. thought like you have there's one Pokemon we can think of exactly and that is of course Dragapult Heracro oh uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like a phone. <laughs> uh, no, uh, like, so we took our mascot, I guess, at the same time, but like, Dragapool is a, f a monster. Honestly, I can't believe that we got to draft it. But the good thing was, we were second in line to draft it. So, we were, I was still terrified of not getting it, because like, it was overall the best Pokemon. Yeah, and first pick one. was like the, the Toxapex, so it was pretty weird. Yeah, so like, first pick Toxapex, what? It's not what? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Huh? <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you see, like, Dragon Pulse got amazing stats for attack, special attack. Actually, overall, it's it's just great. There's like no really, like, even his defense and special teams aren't the worst. Yeah, you, you can even play it, so like, it's really offensive like both sides you can mix it you can just go physical special you can even go like not bulky but like the screen setup support kind of dragon pulse yeah so exactly. it's, it's a lot of it, it just it has a lot it's a lot so of good tools. it has and it has so much coverage as well like if we need for some reason needs to need to re hit a uh, water and a rock type at the same time like uh, ride on or something uh, like it gets surf, it gets called thunderbolt for like like it gets so much and I was like God it's such a good Pokemon <laughs> it just doesn't really, stop <laughs> bro it's like really borderline yeah, it, broken for draft league it, I feel <laughs> the move set is so big the, the abilities are really good eh? and then yeah the speed stuff yeah speed. and no pursuit no pursuit man Got yeah. like U turn. Oh yeah, freely U turn, freely baton pass. You can so much we can do with it. Uh, yeah, we dubbed him the name Drazuka because we that was the best name we could come with. Could come <laughs> up with. <laughs> but, yeah, but like uh, even its abilities are great. Like okay, uh, curse body not that, but like infiltrate and clear body are great because clear body immune to intimidate, immune to sticky webs. Uh, infiltrator just passing by screens and stuff like it's just good it's i don't know what else to say it's just such a good pokemon that's why it's day one <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and then uh yeah i don't think we have a lot more to discuss about like dragapult yeah like we, we wanted to build the team around dragapult too like if, yeah if, so that he has a, a lot of tools to support him as well yeah it's maybe uh, important to say Mm -hmm. uh, he, we really wanted to be the main sweeper, so we, from the lower tiers, I mean, this, the second tier where we could draft, we, we would pick the bulky mons yeah. that would help dra Dragapult survive it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, one of those bulky Pokemon is uh, Blissey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do tell the story about why we drafted Blissey. <laughs> so, we, we actually wanted Wigglytuff. 
because it was tier 5 and it learned Wish Teleport, it has 120 base HP, if I'm correct. Yeah. And we were like, like damn, that's broken. But yeah, Blissey, yeah, Wigglytuff got, got sniped. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, so we had to settle for Blissey. <laughs> yeah, like... it, also, it, it also learns Wish, it also learns Teleport. The only problem is... It doesn't learn at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's the only real issue with uh, Blissey. But like... It's, it's incompatible, incompatible moves. <laughs> yeah. uh, but like, however, Blissey is like one of those Pokemon that doesn't have like much uh, rules that it can fill, but like, it's just fat and like, it's good fat. That's the main rule it has to fulfill and like, it does that super well. Yeah, it, it's just support and it, it, it's a little bit better than Chansey, I feel, because yeah, it, it doesn't need the Eviolite to be extra bulky, and so the freedom with the, the item is big. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you could potentially play a special attacking move to still do damage outside of Seismic Pulse. Yeah, exactly. And like, knockoff does, like, is less worse for us, even if we get knocked off by a Pokemon that has it. Uh, like a special attack that would knock off like we yeah. don't mind it as much still not appreciated but yeah, yeah it's, it's less worse yeah but yeah it's also like a rocker so that's great uh, yeah wish support soft boil <clears throat> it's uh yeah. heel bell so heel bell so yeah heel bell as well yeah if you if you were uh status on our dragon bolt like thunder wave or burn when we're physical we can always heal bell it off yeah exactly so we got like defense on the special defense side and well massive HP as well. So we for our next one we went for another tier two and we went for Slowbro. Uh, yeah, Slowbro is just defensively is a great Pokemon, but like it has uh, also teleport, which is amazingly great combined with Regenerator. Actually, yeah, yeah. I feel like we we really want momentum. So, like, teleport is one of the best moves at the moment for momentum because you have this free switch when with your with your guy that takes all the big hits. So, and then you have the free switch to whatever you want to come in to not uh, to punch holes in their team. And then, yeah, after you teleport, you have the regenerator back. So, always part of the helpful comeback. Yeah, exactly. And Slowbro is also like uh, can be a great potential sweeper as well with like Call Mind or. Even. I, I want to be a great potential sweeper, but it it's, might be. Yeah, it, it might, might be, be like an, if, if if we run against like trick room teams, I think I, it might be useful yeah. as, a, as a as a sweeper or something. Exactly. But I, in our in our main team, in our main setup, I don't think no. we. No, like, it, it would probably fill like the fat role most of the time. Mostly, yeah. But it could it could be like more special if we needed it to be. Because like the special <clears> attack <throat> is also respectable and like the coverage it gets is also not bad at all. Cause like Yeah, it's good. And it's a bulky water. Bulky water types always good. Exactly. Like it gets nasty plots since this gen as well. So like if we if they do tend to run strict room <laughs> against us, like Yeah, we we can we can like go really offensive in a trick room mode team with mm -hmm. slow bro. Wishmobro. Wishmobro, yeah. That was the best name we could come up with, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't have anything better. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for everything. No, but like, Slowbro is just the great Pokemon, like, uh, being able to spread burns as well with Skull, uh, or even Thunder Wave, and Yawn, yeah. even to spread sleep if needed. So, like, yeah, so it's just a great Are Pokemon. We, yeah, we kept Oblivious as a. Uh, ability that could be relevant for if you want to have a, a setup slow bro so we couldn't yeah. get taunted exactly or if we really want to be able to trick room or something oh yeah yeah, yeah. true 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 because like uh with dragapult as well we already got like a very fast pokemon where they need to uh account for that so most of the time in draft league building they would add a scarfer because dragapult has already that much range they would try to find a wall or at least uh, a scarf that could outspeed Dragapult, and because of that, uh, we can we can have some more fat Pokemon as well, because like uh, so they have to account for the speed and for the fat that we both have, which is really great. Which I think it makes the our team really, really well balanced. 
Uh, then for the next Pokemon, we got another tier two. We got Tangled. The boy. The boy. <laughs> the boy. Satis. Another, yeah. another great physical wall. Also with Regenerator. Honestly, when we were drafting, we were also kind of memeing like we're only gonna draft Regenerator yes. mods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just we, good for the heck of it, but yeah, like <laughs> Regenerator plus Dragapult. <laughs> yeah. Just with Tove. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like really good uh, to um, take the physical hits, and we really needed something as well to take like uh, the physical type uh, dark moves. Mm -hmm. That we that slow bro can't take and Blissey can't take because yeah it's it's not physically great and it's super effective on Dragapult. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 still effective on Tangrove, but he's so bulky that he usually takes it pretty well. Exactly. Like it's that like the only stats that are bad are special defense and speed, but like assault fast Tangrove is still a thing because it has quite a good white move set. Too bad hidden power is gone, but like still. Like, it still has a lot going for itself. Uh, yeah, the move pool is also pretty good, so... Yeah, like, uh, 100 base attack and 110 base special attack is, like, really good for it as well. Like, it's crazy. This mon is also super good, so we were happy to be able to draft it. Uh, I have no idea why Chlorophyll is on the... Hey, <laughs> on the, yeah, for, the sun, on the for the Sun, for the Sun team, man, for the Sun team. Yeah, can't, can't the sun. <laughs> yeah, can't. Uh, yeah, because like if they have like uh, Torquil and then a bringing out the Charizard, oh yeah, Chlorophyll Rock Slide. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know when it's needed, you know, with the base oh, fifty, yeah. with the base fifty, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. We ain't running that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not. But um, yeah, knockoff is always a great assisting tool, certainly on bulky Pokemon to make sure that opposing Pokemon don't have items. Then also Earthquake to hit fire types, uh, even steel types and such. Um, like it, ha it has an option for everything to make uh, itself very annoying because it even learns, um, what's it called? I forgot, it's a powder move that paralyzes you. Uh, Stun Spore. Stun Spore. Yeah. Stun Spore as well, he's got Sleep Powder. Uh, le even leech seed to annoy stuff. Uh, grass types can't come in because of poison jab and even sludge bomb. Uh, unless like poison, poison grass types are the main walling thing. But, like knockoff to take that off, and then we've got Blissey uh, to mainly wall. Because like I think most grass poison types are special. I'm thinking of like Amoongus and Venusaur and stuff. So. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Venusaur could be physical too. I feel. Yeah, how much uh, base does it have? I actually don't know. It, it usually runs a bit mixed, 82 only, but like he, he usually runs Earthquake as well because oh, yeah. he doesn't have like ground coverage. Oh, he has Earth Power, but yeah. I don't know. I, I know I see them usually run Earthquake as well. I'm, I'm forgetting yeah. why. It's uh, most of the time it's for uh, like heat for Heatran. I've seen. Uh, earthquake, because like most. Ah, yes, I see trend running around. <laughs> no, 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 but like for example, National Dex is actually Earthquake. Uh, earthquake is better to hit Heatran because Heatran is played worse for death. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, no, Earthquake, uh, Venusaur is definitely a possibility as well. But like, Tangro is just a great Pokemon, bulky, and it's. It's honestly just glue. Like I feel like Tangroot is like amazing glue that you can put like anywhere on the team. Yeah, that's and it's such a variable too because he he can be usually people expect like the assault vest and the rocky helmet, yeah. but then you you still have to account for what does he cover? Because if he's a assault vest, he can he's just fully off fully attack moves. But do I need to account for the sleep powder or not, or the stun spore, the leech heat, or like? What exactly. what is it? What's it gonna do? You always gotta figure it out first before. It's not a, as cookie cutter as the mon seems to be. I feel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really great. I love him. Uh, yeah, surprise, surprise. We got like already three tier twos, but we picked a four tier two. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Toast book. laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just. Oh yeah, two saw this one. Because yeah. I showed, because uh, I showed him, and uh, he was like, "Why is it called Toast Spook?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, Spook means ghost." Uh, and like, we're inspired by Danny Phantom. I'm a ghost. Uh, I'm a box ghost. As I recently saw that in English, that was weird. Like, I'm a box ghost. He says it like that. Ah, it's super weird. 
Ik ben een toespoor. Yeah. <laughs> dat is toch de beste thing ever, man. Yeah. Oh man, Dutch Danny, Danny Phantom, hella good. But yeah, we picked Rotom Heat, because Rotom Heat, as a tip, is really great. Fire type, Levitate, electric moves, Volt Switch. Like, Rotom is like the complete package, what you want. Because especially now that Rotom gets Nasty Plot as well, which is, oh, and Defog even, potential Defog. Uh, it's really great because Nasty Plot being able to sweep, Defog just to be able to do support, to get out pain split, and even trick to shut down walls is so solid. And it's a cool design. <laughs> yeah, it's also pretty good that its HP is so low and its defense so high for pain splits. So you can yeah. like always get a lot of health back when you use it. <laughs> yeah, it's really great seeing, seeing stuff like that when Rutum just. Heals everything and it's just like, oh, no, damage? No. <laughs> no. Nah, man. No, nah, man. Nah. <laughs> but like, nah. Root, and Rotom has like a respectable speed as well, which is really great for it. Because uh, thanks to that, you can run Scarf, you can even run like a bulkier variant. You are like, it's a very diverse mon as well, I feel. I love that it's waving at me. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Oh or or he's like like boxing and flailing his arms around because he wants to fight you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can <laughs> those see are that. actually boxing gloves. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. The yeah. only the only downside I feel at the Rotom is that his fire moves overheat, so yeah. you don't have the one hundred percent accuracy, and you have the special attack drops when you use it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only downside to it. Man, imagine if Rotom Heat got like Fleet Tour or something like that. Oh, that would be so good. Yeah. Or, like even Fire Blast, I, would, I wouldn't mind. But yeah, yeah. Overheat is it's a good move, but it's not good as your only Fire move. Yeah, you can't I... just begin to spam it. Because like, then you need to be hoping for crits. <laughs> but yeah, Rotom is like a super solid Pokemon. Uh, it got, like uh, it go, can go offensively and even bulky. So like we thought it could fit our team quite perfectly and like Volt Switch even giving us more momentum because we've got Dragon Pult with Button Pass and U-Turn, we've got Slope Pro with Teleport, we've got even potentially uh, Blissey with Teleport and then even Rotom with Volt Switch so like we've got a lot of momentum on our team and that's one of the main things that I really like on teams. Yeah at, at the point that we drafted it we were like we needed something defensive but something that can also be offensive like yeah. It, it doesn't have to be the same thing all over and really lacked a bit of power I feel at a certain point because yeah. all our attackers were almost physical. Yeah, exactly. So this the like this Rotom it up looked like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a logic choice. Uh yeah, next one. We didn't pick a tier two again, because we couldn't anymore. Uh we've got tier three. We got Snorlax. Uh, yeah. I, d I don't think I need to explain why Snorlax is amazing, like, Snorlax is just one of those Pokemons where it can, what it, it almost always gets what it wants to do. The only thing I really miss about Snorlax is it having Pursuit, uh, being able to like make a solid Assault Vest set with like Pursuit, I love doing that in uh, Gen 7, but now you, like, you've got Immunity, Tech Fat, Gluttony, three amazing abilities, got good stats like his HP is through the roof as well uh, his moveset is even even bigger than what you appear out to be because it's filled but like you have moves like heat crash as well on, oh, on, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. on Snorlax right. which can be so good Dark Solariat so you can just ignore all the defense boosts or any other boosts I guess uh, mm -hmm. yeah no it's true I just miss Pursuit, man. <laughs> That's just yeah. one of those moves that I miss. But at the same time, I don't because we drafted Dragon Pult. <laughs> uh, the only thing I feel is, yeah, you have to... He's, he's a setup yeah. mon. You you have to have some type of setup on him or like rest or something to get his health back. Because otherwise, he wouldn't he wouldn't do as much as you want him to do. Yeah, because like wish passing to him is kind of hard when you have a, uh, like a Blissey and probably our opponent switches in a physical attacker like uh snorlax's hp is respectable but like defense not that great it's mainly so like it's not easy to switch uh into the snorlax always uh on an offensive move uh the thing yeah. is thick fat is amazing though uh because like resisting like being able to take so much more or less from ice and fire time moves is just 
helpful. Uh, and our team is kind of fat. I admit that from I fear looking and like I even like immunity, just being able to ignore toxic damage, which is great to me. Yeah, I, f I feel that could be really useful if we like don't play um, a lot of uh, how do you say? Uh, I forgot the word setup. Like yeah. if you want to go like choice band, Snorlax or something, mm -hmm. then it could be good. It's like oh, I'm, I need to whittle him down, and he just can't. Yeah, exactly. Or or if we have like setup and then we really can't fit in rest or something. Yeah. Exactly. We we really can't be toxic for for him to take us down. Yeah. <clears throat> Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Gluttony could be good on the on the trick room teams. Then. I, th I think immunity is like great when it's like a curse set. They switch something in that can taunt us, and then try to toxic us as well. Taunt and toxic, I guess. Yeah, you you don't need to waste an item as well to yeah. fix the status. So. <clears throat> oh yeah, true, 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 true. But yeah, uh, Snorlax is just a great Pokemon overall. Like even body, just body slam, just being able to paralyze uh, things. Facade, like facade, is like also super great because like that's the main thing that you want to do to a Snorlax. Stat, try and status this with like poison or even burn, so it can't yeah. set up too badly in front of your face. But yeah, it's just solid Pokemon, man. I can't see anything else really. I think we can. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's also good for against trick rooms and stuff. Trick rooms yeah, yeah. and stuff. Exactly. It's, it's all around. It's it's a good offensive mod that we have. That's also pretty bulky. Do we have like really bulky actually? <laughs> I'm thinking because Slowbro is also base thirty, right? Yeah. Damn, right. we've got a lot of base thirties because uh, the next one, next tier three, is also base thirty. That's Copperaja. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. We really have an anti trick room team, bro. <laughs> yeah, like I want to see someone try and run trick room against us. Uh, yeah, we uh, got Copraja as well because we wanted a steel type, of course. Uh, Copraja fit there well enough, I feel. Um, there were a lot of potential steel types to be taken, but Copraja also being able to give rocks and also uh, just sheer force and offensive pressure is really great because, like, it's got a white roof pool as well. Yeah, we would say we wanted actually a steel type that could do a bit the same as Snorlax, I guess, just take hits, but be strong, or like be be bulky, but yeah. also do damage, but like less set up needy. Yeah, I, I feel. Yeah, and that's that's why Kaprojo really fit in because, like speed, we don't really care about it as as we as I said because we have so much momentum. He's a tactics I like Koparaja. When he comes in, I, I usually think he's it's like from one or two turns to just hit really hard and then not come in again, hopefully. Yeah. And then so we can proceed to win the game. Yeah. yeah. And like i I think it's very hard to find like very a lot of switches for Koparaja, because like Sheer Force, uh Sheer Force and then like give it a choice band or even life orb is can be so scary because like 130 base with Sheer Force. Ugh. Yeah, and, and the move pool is so variable. Yeah, like, really? we, can, we can really customize it as much as we want to play against uh, for our opponent's team. That's mm -hmm. something like that Sorlex not always is able to do as well. Mm. <clears throat> That's true. So, I actually forgot. It does get stealth drugs, doesn't it? It doesn't. Does I I'm, I'm I'll look it up. I, yeah, no, I, I, I know that like the GVAC set up steel stealth rocks, so I'm pretty sure. I thought, yeah, so yeah, it gets stealth rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to put it on with it for some it's reason. Like, it's a good movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, but like also another stealth rock. So we got Blissey, uh, Copperaja, those two right now. Uh, yeah, so like Copperaja is a great Pokemon. It's just a good steel type, very offensive, and like its HP is respectable as well. Yeah, yeah, we expect something to die when it comes in. Yeah. Just do that and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, for our next book one, we are moving a tier down. We're moving to tier four. We move we got Scyther. Yeah, we wanted a Pokemon that learned Vacuum Wave because we were really scared about Vacuum Wave. <laughs> yeah, that's really why I put it there, that's why I put it there. <laughs> uh, because we were really scared about Bishar. <laughs> yeah, that's why we want a Vacuum Wave, that's true. <laughs> we're super duper scared about Bishar, man. Like, oh. Yeah, man. Vacuum Wave with Choice Specs Technician. Yeah. Almost one shot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> almost with no oh, yeah bro no, that's sc- <laughs> like that shit is scary <laughs> <laughs> no, but like uh, Scyther is also one of those Pokemon. That's it's a tier four, and Scyther is like super respectable with technician, and now with dual wing beat, and like it's a text that isn't that bad. It gets Source Dance. It's got a lot of moves as well. The dual wing beat is so good for it, and yeah. I really it, it should really have been tier three. I think just solely because of that move. Yeah. No, Without I it, I think tier four could be justified. But with it, yeah, that's it's step. It's a lot of damage. It's two hits, a good accuracy, and yeah, it's fucking Scyther, man. Yeah, I'm like, so- uh, wait, cause like uh, the wing beat is forty base, I believe. So technician is one point five. I don't remember. Yeah, true. So technician is. 1.5 indeed, yeah. and dual wing bead is 40 base power. So that's, that's 120 de- base flying move in your face. If I'm wait, because like 42 times 40 hits, so that means 80. Uh, and yeah, it's 120. Yeah, I can I can math. <laughs> so <laughs> like, it's it's just a brave bird without the recoil. Exactly, and like the speed is also like good enough because like we've got Dragapult mainly now as a fast thing but like having Scyther there as well to be uh, a fast yeah. Pokemon which is also able to U-turn because again that momentum we even got you can even run Eviolite Roost with it because like Eviolite yeah, makes it like you want to make it tanky or like heavy duty boots because if we're scared from um, from the entry hazards yeah you can also run defog just for to defog with if we don't think rotom heat would be like a good pick in that matchup mm-hmm. or like offensive choice band or something and just full yeah, on offensive like, it's, it's possible like choice band u-turn i feel like that is also something to be reckoned with because you gotta yeah, respect yeah. it you gotta respect Scyther. so i agree tier 4 is like we is too low for Scyther, man Scyther is like deserves some respect. We're gonna show it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna showcase her. Yeah, yeah. Nickname is clever girl because uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> that's that's the main <laughs> thing. <laughs> that's what we got as a nickname. We were, again, the best one we had. <laughs> uh, Man, it feels like I'm not good at Nick. No, the, this 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 was mine, right? This was, you're <laughs> really good at them, but like this was mine. All right, uh, if we're going back, like Toastpook was uh, from Leonard's, uh, Sh- Shmoobro as well, Trasico was, yeah, Blislita Nunu. was yours. Nunu was yours Nunu. as well. And yeah, like Guru, Guru Gustavo was like a mix of both. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Up, and I said no. You know one that one. Oh, maybe. <laughs> We gotta explain the reference, yeah, Guru Gustavo, because there's this one episode of Big Time Rush where uh, where Gustavo gets like super duper chill. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's a good episode, but yeah, uh, that's our only tier four. But like, that's the only tier four we need, honestly. And then next up, we've got tier five. We got the Dawn. Shout out to Wesley for the nickname. Yeah, uh, it's a boy sandwiches. Literally, tra- I guess I would call in English. I would say sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, sure. but yeah, Rhydon is such a good Pokemon. I do not get why people keep putting him in like tier five. I feel like Rhydon does not deserve to be tier five. Nah, it's it's way too solid. The only thing that doesn't work with uh, Rhydon is like its abilities aren't great for what he for what he does, but mm-hmm. like his stats make up for it, his move pool makes up for it. So hey, close combat, Draco Meteor. Oh, hey, I don't know if, I didn't even know you got Draco Meteor. Dragon Dance. I think, I think you. I think I'm going to hey, there. Yeah, but, yeah that's that's for the next Pokemon. I feel. Yeah, that is for the next Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> You put it, didn't put Stealth Rock as well. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, okay, so um, quick editing magic. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, Earthquake, Smack, uh, Earthquake is a great move. It even gets Swords Dance, uh, like Smackdown, even to be able to hit like flying types out of the air just to make sure you can hit it with Stab Earthquake. It gets Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, even. Like, it's a bulky Pokemon. 
if I if I like helps it so much as well for like defense and special defense wise because like special defense is a great but like his defense is uh the stats are right though I I just checked <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. checking the move flow as well to see if we're forgetting moves or something but yeah I think we usually want this as like a lead or something mm -hmm. to just set up our stealth frogs and then uh, maybe dragon tail something out or just earthquake because earthquake is a good move <laughs> yeah it's a broken move honestly yeah, really cool. people underestimate it i yeah. feel because they don't respect the damage from a step earthquake from yeah. right on without investment exactly this this is non-flying lando right here what like 130 base attack man that's crazy like, you don't even need right period fucking right on is just so good yeah, and it's also slow again for those recruits. Yeah, <laughs> for the anti crew, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, you know we're running hammer arm when we're playing against three crew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> no, but like Rhydon is just such a solid Pokemon. It it it, it does like li I guess limited stuff uh, for the, those that don't see its ma majestic greatness, but like. It's just strong, man. It's yeah, strong. It, so it sad, like so well. Like you, you, we, we probably won't play it set up as much. I mm -hmm. feel. I think it's it's usually entry hazard and then like roar or dragon tail, mm -hmm. so we can like always face things out and then like earthquake and then a filler move. Yeah. I think that's all. That always will be the most like efficient or like the most common side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it will always be, it's just, it, he does it so well. That's like the shtick from Botram, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what you want from your sandwich. <laughs> you just wanted to put up stealth rocks. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, that's what st sandwiches are for. <laughs> you just want to put up stealth rocks. All right, yeah. so uh, you already saw the moveset earlier, but uh, let's go on to our next tier five. It's uh, Hakamo. Yes. So funny story about this. Um, we were, we thought this was gonna be a broken tier five. Uh, to only then realize it did, get, did not get a lot of moves that Kumo does. <laughs> <laughs> like for example, body press, uh, stealth rocks. Uh, what was it as well? Clangor soul. <laughs> soul. Like there's a lot of stuff. Like, but like the main thing that we wanted was body press, and it doesn't get that. <laughs> yeah, like um, the pro we we drafted this as last month, and I really I was really scared of Bisharp, so I felt like we needed a fighting type or something to just mm -hmm. just a good measure to always be able to switch into it. Yeah, and I I was thinking maybe we should take something that's not on the list and usually that's a not fully evolved mount and I found like Girder and Hakamo and I, Tro was also it was still on the list but I felt like it was a good container as well um so yeah these are the mounts that we can use to deal with it and then I was hyping Shimon up from yeah but Hakamo <laughs> yeah. it. It, it was like I think Girder is good nah Hakamo Hakamo <laughs> <laughs> do Hakamo <laughs> No, but uh, in retrospect, I actually kind of like him. Like, he does still get enough for me that uh, he can still be used. I feel because, like, even like like look at the moveset, set; it's well enough. Like, bulk up, brain punch, roar, toxic, even close combat and Drake meter just do hit uh, a bit harder with its stabs, and then uh, even taunt to just yeah stop. And the other the looking are good as well. Like yeah. It's, it can always switch in in a sleep powder if you want if you have overcoat or if you are against like uh, toxicity you can run uh, soundproof. Yeah, exactly. Or like uh, uh, Gengar with you can run bulletproof, I guess. Mm -hmm. So For sludge can... bomb and uh, shadow ball. Shadow ball, yeah. So it's like two steps taken out. Yeah. Sometimes they'll play sludge way, of course, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. But like, still, it's a solid Pokemon. It's. All right, we call it shit tier five because we only figured it out. Later <laughs> and get but like, I think it's still a fine Pokemon and then like a fine addition. Maybe I don't really know what we would switch it up with. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I th I think if we would switch it, it would be for the girder. Yeah, that's the only thing I can see it. But um, 
Yeah, I think this one fills a little bit more roles than Girder can. Yeah. Girder like is just stronger. Wait, Girder With gets default, right? <laughs> Girder, <Yeah. laughs> Girder gets default. Is the girl. <laughs> no, 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 I I still think Hakamo is fine. Uh, I only wish it got Steltrox. I feel like I feel like that is the least I would have won. It's so like. It's such a difference of a Pokemon, and it's so weird to me. It's like it gets still drink media close combat. Yeah, it's fine. But like Stealth Rock, man, just give it. <laughs> yeah. So if we ever switch it, it will be for Girder. Yeah. You, you all heard it first here. Yeah. <laughs> what, what <laughs> we <need> to <laughs> uh, do you think he would want uh, come on? <laughs> yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna hype it up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah, Akamu's gonna destroy your team, bro. <laughs> oh, you want you want to trade them? Oh, okay, uh, but only for the one thing that beats it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much. I feel that was our team. Uh, so we've got a lot of tier twos. I feel wait four tier twos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah four. Four tier one tier one four tier twos. Uh, two tier threes. One tier four and two tier fives. Yeah, I can math. Uh, but like, I feel like our team is super solid. I'm not like, I feel our team is super duper Damn, solid. Damn, Tango is big. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know how big it was anymore, so like, I just made it extra big. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's bigger than Snorlax, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I feel our, te our team is like semi-fab, but like with... Uh, potential fast Pokemon like Dragapult, Scyther, and even Rotom. Uh, people have to watch out for us. We've got so much uh, momentum going on as well, which is super great. We've got potential Rock Setters, three potential Rock Setters. We got two Defoggers, uh, no Rapid Spin, unfortunately, but who needs that? Yeah, I, the thing I've uh, the thing that's so good about this team, I feel, is like we don't have those awkward speed tiers in our team. It's like it's or it's slow or it's fast. Yeah. So our opponents will have to deal, have to um, like speed creep their fast months for yeah. like, for our months, but for our slower months we don't need to because we know it's like we're never gonna get it get to that level without having out so much investment. So we just barely don't have to invest yeah, exa speed. Yeah, exactly. We don't, we don't really need to look at speed because we know our opponent is gonna mainly look at uh, our three fastest Pokemon. And we know what the three, fa like we don't need to calc everything. We know what they wanna, we will know what they wanna speed die for or even, uh, not speed die, go faster as. Yeah, that, I don't know why it was so hard for me to say, but... Ah, uh, uh, it's okay, man, good, man. <laughs> but yeah, this was the Bro, uh, the Bro League, no, uh, the, uh, the Belgian Red Dragon, Dragapult's team. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will be bringing out videos soon as well. Alright, yeah. bye. Bye. Ah, no, I thought you said my, not bye. Alright, <laughs> bye. Alright, bye bye. Please support bye -bye. us. <laughs>